Hey guys, welcome back to the Florida Garden Escape channel. Happy to have you guys. So, as I told you, later this week we are going to post a video of the seedlings. Let's go ahead and check those seedlings out. Check it out. Look at those seedlings. They are looking great, right? We got the celery right there. It is looking marvelous. And then we have a few of the tomatoes right here. There's one of the red acre cabbage, as you can see. This is going to be the baby romaine. As you guys can see, I did label a lot of these cups. That's the baby romaine. That's the baby romaine. This one here is as well the baby romaine. And then this one is the butter crunch. Um, as you can see, the butter crunch does have a lot of bigger leaves than the baby romaine. But that is our butter crunch. Looks good. We're ready to get these transplanted out here soon. We got to get some water in here. And so as you can see, we still have some uh, baby romaine in here that needs to get into solo cups. They weren't quite ready yet. And then here we have some more red acre cabbage, as you can see. Oh, it's losing its focus. There it goes. So as you can see, there's the uh, red acre cabbage. And then you can see here, this is one of the marigolds that we did plant some more of. We only got one to come out. We also then have as well our beefsteak tomatoes, which are going to be right there. We also have these little guys. That's going to be the, let me go ahead and say the correct name here. That is going to be the Scarlet Nancy's Carrots right there. And then this one next to it, this is going to be the, and make sure I'm saying the right name here because I'm terrible with these names of these plants. That'll be the Grand Rapids uh, lettuce right there. And so we're really excited about everything. Everything's looking good. Um, what we're gonna be planting next after this round? Um, so that's gonna be pretty much our biggest question. After this, I gotta really start planning um, what we're gonna be putting into the ground next. Um, so as you guys see, we do have tons of seeds um, that we still do need to get planted. Um, a lot of the seeds I have they in order compare in order from when we can start them to when we should be looking at starting them. Um, so let's get our seeds out here, so that way we can really figure this out. Um, so we're gonna probably be loading off on the watermelon. Um, this is the Crimson Sweet Watermelon. Um, let's see, this is cucumbers. This is the Garden Sweet Cucumbers. And they'll tell you on the back when you can do like inside, starting it inside, go to outside, things like that. And so I really want to make sure we can start them, we start them in the right seasons. Um, but that is what we have coming up. We have a lot to plant. Um, I think more than likely what we're going to be getting ready to plant next is going to be the basil, uh, tarry and large, large leaves, and some more of the Canaan lilies, as I did post a video uh, yesterday of how we get the Canaan lily seeds to produce. And just a really quick, I want to show you guys what they look like when you get them out the pods. And as you can see, I don't have them in the correct thing here. And just because from what I've learned is seeds do better and air better when it's in a cardboard packaging instead of plastic as the cardboard packaging allows them to get better air. But this right here is going to be the Canaan lily seeds. And I'm still learning how they need to be planted because from my understanding, they have a hard time getting out these outer shell seeds. Um, so I have to see what I need to do exactly to remove that seed to help uh, get it to uh, germinate to them. Um, but that'll pretty much be our our next set of what we'll be planting. Um, and those cane and lily seeds, those seedlings, they won't go in the garden. They're going to go along the side with the other cane and lily. Um, so we're really excited about that. 
Um, but that's pretty much all our update um, for the seedlings. They're looking good. Um, they did say that these seedlings would take up to 10 to 15 days to merge from out of the ground from their seedlings. It actually didn't take 10 to 15 days uh, for them to merge out. It actually only took probably about five days before they started really merging. By the 10th day, everything from what it shows here so far, everything has emerged out of the ground. Um, and it's pretty much just growing now. And then once this roots start coming, and I'm going to just water while I'm talking to you guys. Once the roots from the seedlings start coming out of these pods, and I'll see if I can find one, but I, I might have showed this in my other video as well, um, what you'll need to look for, uh, for when those roots start coming out of the pods. And let me see here, I should be able to find one. Okay, so here, look, good example. So you see this root right here? This is a sign it's ready to get in a solo cup as the roots are starting to come out of the pods. And so with the pods, <coughs> it makes it a little harder to take this, this outer netting off and not hurt these roots. But from what I've done, I've just pretty much been taking the netting off and separating them in that, and it doesn't do any damage to the, to the uh, seedlings itself, especially if you're like really careful. So that is a good thing there. Um, but so far, everything's looking good. Um, we just need to get these guys some water and then they'll be good. And with a lot of the solo cups, I, if you're curious on how I did them and that, we did do a video on the seed, the last seed things we had to do in the solo cups before we got them transplanted outside. So you guys are more than welcome to check that video out and um, let me know what you guys think of it. Um, get this guy some water he really needs some water oh. and so one thing I do want to tell you tell you guys when you're doing your watering and that you want to really be careful with how you do it because if you do it wrong you could end up pushing that plant into the dirt and hurting it because the seedlings aren't strong enough for heavy rain or heavy watering because they're seedlings you got to think of them as babies pretty much um, when it comes to watering and things like that. Get that in there. Don't get you wet. And as you see here in the tent as well, you probably notice that we do have a lot of fans in here. And that's pretty much to help the airflow. I've probably mentioned that a time or two in my other videos as well. But in case you guys are wondering or haven't seen the other videos, that's why we have these fans. This to just help with the airflow. But guys, I am going to go ahead and get off here. I do hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe um, so that way you're not missing out on any of our videos. Um, also, hit the notification bell so that way you're not missing any of our videos. Um, comment down below if for any tips or suggestions you guys have for us. Uh, give us any tips in that. Um, if you have any any ideas on what you think we should plant next um also throw out any comments of what you want us to do for videos um next time um we'll take any open suggestions um uh, we are open-minded people and we don't take anything personally everybody has their rights to their opinions in that and that is totally fine get that in here well, guys, I'm going to finish my watering. You guys get out of here and enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you guys got something out of this. I hope it encouraged you to maybe start your own seedlings. See, seedlings. Seedlings. Um, one thing for sure I want to go ahead and say, if you're starting your own garden, you want to start with simple plants, which is one simple th plant I have learned to grow is the marigold. That is the simplest thing to grow. Um, they don't require a lot of work. They're pretty, pretty, pretty easy to take care of starting out. So I would definitely suggest that as a first plant to grow. Um, but that is what I'm going to leave you guys with for my tip of the day. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to hit that bell down, down there as well. Deuces, guys.